Hi guys, so it's time for another review of the Lux boxes. Um, I'm actually not going to be doing them anymore because I found another one that I'm switching my subscription over to. It's called Glim Boxes, G-L-Y-M-M. -M. Um, so that will probably be what the next month's um, box will be. I don't know what's in it, but I've heard amazing reviews and I kind of just want to switch it up every now and then. Um, I know for Lux boxes, the prices have gone up. They are now, um, instead of $10 originally, they were like, they're 12 something now, which isn't a big deal, but I mean, the Glim, oh, there's my cat again, um, but the Glim boxes are still only $10, and I've heard reviews that they're a lot better than the Lux boxes, so um, I'm probably just going to try it out for a couple of months, and if I don't like it, then I can always switch back over to the Lux boxes, but anyway, so this is my January box. I did actually get it really late this, um, no, well, obviously, I mean, it's February, what, 4th now? I got it really late in January, like, almost one of the last few days in January, so, um, yeah, I haven't really, I haven't really been too, too impressed, other than, you know, certain Lux boxes have been better than others, but because the customer service has kind of been lacking a little bit, um, and they've gotten progressively, uh, later and later and later, I used to get my Lux boxes like the second week in the month and now I'm getting them the last few days. Um, it happened in December and I thought it was just because of the holiday season and everything like that but it happened again in January and it was even later so I didn't want to chance it for February. I just decided to switch over to Glim. So anyways, I'll get right into it and I'll try to go through it a little bit quicker. Um, my last month's uh, Lux box, there was um, one of the shampoos that I had gotten and yes, I didn't do a review on it because it was pretty mangled but one of the shampoos that I had gotten had actually leaked into the rest of the box so um, my products were salvage salvageable um, I was able to wash them off and kind of use them but um, I did email uh, loose button which is the company that makes Lux boxes and I did let them know that this is what happened and uh, you know whatever they could do I would really appreciate it I think it was about uh, a third or a quarter of the shampoo that was sent to me was no longer usable so um, I kind of just felt that maybe that was something that I should let them know about. Whether or not I got any conversation back, I, I didn't really bother. Um, and they did say that they would send me another shampoo bottle in, in lieu of that. So um, yeah, so anyways, this month they also sent an extra box as well too. And this was um, just an extra thing that they were doing. It's a bath and body box. I don't know if you guys can see it. So they were just trying to send some other samples as well, too, and give it as a bonus for their, their subscribers, basically. So in it was my uh, shampoo. So I'd gotten the Moroccan oil shampoo. Um, and uh, it's just an extra one. This one, as you can see, it doesn't have any shampoo or any kind of residue on it, so that's really great. Um, then they also sent some uh, Frederick Fakai uh, glossing shampoo and conditioner samples. And I've heard amazing things about this line. Um, it is sold at our local Shoppers Drug Mart and most of the drugstores, so I may have to try it if I do like these ones. And um, the reason I say that is because they also um, sent this little coupon, and with it, uh, you get these bonus points from Shoppers Drug Mart. They have something called Optimum Points, and every certain amount you spend, you get these points. But there are certain times where you can get more points. Um, and then what you do is just redeem redeem them for money. So this one they say 8,000 um, extra points for uh, Frederick Fakai hair product if you buy one. And it only takes 10,000 points, I think, and you get 10,000, no, is it, I can't remember. You get 10,000 points and that's $10 off your next purchase. I can't remember how it goes, but that's a really good deal for just buying uh, shampoo or whatever. So, um yeah, and then they also sent in the body cart, they sent a free shaver, the Schick Hydro Silk. So it reminds me kind of like the uh, Procter & Gamble boxes that I get sometimes as well, too. They sometimes send in these extra little goodies. Um, and then on the back, they do have coupons, and one of the coupons is $4 off any of the refills. So that's really good, because refills can sometimes cost like $20 for shavers. It's ridiculous sometimes. So that was in my, um, my Bath & Body box. And then in my regular Lux box, so again they have, sorry, um, they have all the little slips and um, just all the little kind of things, uh, some coupons, things like that. So they include that in there. 
And then they also, again, with your little name, they have it on the tag there. So thought that's really cute. Um, kind of strange. I don't really know why, but to each his own. I guess they sent um, some coffee, some Seattle's Best Level 3 coffee. Uh, unfortunately, I got rid of my coffee maker and I got a Keurig for Christmas. So um, I'm going to have to get one of those little Keurig cups that you can pour regular coffee into now. So that kind of sucks. But um, yeah, I guess it's free coffee and I've heard Seattle's Best. I think they did some rebranding or something like that. So I heard they're really good now. Um, then the next one I got is the uh, Yves Rocher and this is the Mandarin Shower Gel. Yeah, Shower Gel. Um, and again, I, they must be doing something with this company because in one of my previous Lux boxes I did get um, an Yves Rocher moisturizer. And I, I love the line and I love the products. They're really great. They're really inexpensive and um, the packaging is cute. The products work really well. But the thing that I don't like is that um, we used to have one store in my city, and it's gone now. So there's no other stores. The only way that you can get Yves Rocher products, at least in my city or where I am where I live, I have to order this online. Um, so that's the only thing that I really don't like about it, which kind of it sways me from wanting to use the products. Because I like to buy products that I can go and get if I run out of. Um, I don't always like relying on buying online, strictly because you have the shipping, right? And then, um, you know, sometimes things can happen, unforeseen things, and all of a sudden you are without product and your shipment is a week late and you don't know what to do, so you have to find a replacement. So, especially when it comes to things like skincare or makeup that I use regularly, like if I would never think to buy it online, just because if I ever run out, then I would be SOL, I guess. So, um... But in terms of stuff like this, I mean, I probably wouldn't go and order this specific shower gel online. I would probably just go to Bath & Body Works and pick up another kind, you know? So stuff like this, I'll definitely use it, but it's not something that I would probably go back out and get if I really loved it, just because I'm sure I could find a mandarin or orange-smelling bath shower gel at Bath & Body Works or one of my drugstores, too. So, um, yeah. And then uh, another cute thing, I'm not sure about the color, really, but uh, it's the China Glaze. And this is the China Glaze Nail Polish. This is in Dance Baby. So it's a very, sorry, I have something on my thumb. It's a very pinky color. Um, it's not really, it's not really my favorite color. Like, I think it kind of looks a little strange. But then again, I think this would probably look really nice with either a crackle or um, maybe if you did, like, a nice white shimmer over top and made it kind of like a light pink. I think that would look really nice. So... I might try that this weekend and see what it looks like, or if not, I can just use it as one for my toes as well, too. But I like that it's a full size, and I love China Glaze for nail polishes. It's an amazing company. So Then um, I also got a... This? Oh, this is, yeah, this is the Olay one. Olay Pro X Eye Restoration Complex. So I don't think this is a full size. I think it's only like 15 mils or something like that. But the reason why I got excited was because I got this in two Lux boxes ago, and normally most people would say, like, I don't want the same product, you know, every two months. But I, I've been really liking this eye cream. Um, I'm almost completely out of the one I got, so when I saw this in my box, I was really excited because I don't have to stop using it. Um, I probably won't go out and buy this because I did look at the price, and this is like $30 from Olay because they're new pro -X line. So I'm probably not going to go out and use it, which is another reason why I was really happy to go and or to open up my box and see that it was in there because now I don't have to find a new eye cream anytime soon so and my other one lasted like two months which is really great so I'm excited about that and then they sent this little goodie bag and I was like what the heck is this like more samples that are big but um, there's a little card in here that explains it and I guess what they're what they're gonna do? I don't know if it's a. It talks about it being a new program, but I don't know if this is gonna be in every Lux box from now, or if it's gonna be its own kind of box that you have to get every month. They're trying to do like perfume samples, so you can sample a perfume that you like, and if you do, then they'll give you sometimes coupons to purchase the larger size at a cheaper price. Um, I like perfume. Um, of course, I'm a girl. I wear perfume every day. But I'm not a person that is a fanatic about perfume. And I know that there's there are ones out there. Just like there's people who love nail polish, there's people who love makeup. Um, 
I'm probably more of like a skincare makeup person than anything else. Oh, and nail polish, I guess. But um, I'm not a big like fragrance person. I don't go and spend you know hundreds of dollars trying to these new, brand new fragrances that I like. I'm a really traditional person, as you guys would be able to tell from my fra my favorite perfume video. Um, I like really kind of musky, sweet smelling things, and some of my favorites are the ones that they'll stand the test of time, like Chanel Number no. Five. So I'm not a huge fan of this program for fragrances, not just because I'm not a big fragrance person in general, but I don't like having, you know, 20 different little samples of perfume to go through, because where do you put that? Um, I have a little box in my dresser that I can put them in, but it kind of defeats the purpose. Like samples to me are ones that you kind of test out for a little bit of one or two different ones, and then you decide what you like. or you put it in your overnight bag and it's easier than putting your whole bottle of perfume in there. But um, to have, you know, 20 or 30 and get that every single month, like I just, I could not do that. I wouldn't want to do that. So anyways, um, in one of my other boxes, I got this sample. So again, this is a repeat sample. Just kind of yet another reason why I'll probably be not coming back to Lux Box if I like my Glim Box. But this is the Prada Candy sample. Um, so it is in a box, and as you guys can hear, I'm sure, this is one of those, I can't even open it. I'm not even going to. It's one of the vial spray um, perfumes, or perfume samples, sorry. And I don't mind the Prada Candy. It's a very nice, sweet smelling one. Uh, the problem that I have with kind of candy or like bubble gum or sometimes even the fruitier perfumes, even though they are perfumes, I find on myself they don't last as long. That's kind of why I like the muskier ones. I find that I only need a couple of sprays and they last throughout the day. So the thing with Prada Candy, I did try the other samples that I had um, and I wasn't too impressed with the scent. It didn't stay on for as long as what I would hope for. Um, it wasn't, you know, a couple minutes and it's gone. It did last hours, but um, yeah, it's probably something I wouldn't go out and buy, but to have an extra sample, it's nice. Uh, the next one is another Prada sample and this is the Milano and it's um, Eau de Toilette and it talks about infusion diaris. Diaris? I'm sorry, I don't speak French, so I'm probably butchering it. But um, I'm guessing that it's the Prada and it's in like an iris, iris the flower uh, sort of scent. And it is in another vial as well, too. Um, it's a cute little envelope. I love the envelope style of this. And uh, no, it's, yeah, it's just in a little vial. It's not even a spray one here. Infusion to us. I don't know what that means, but yeah, so that's the little vial for the Prada one. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but uh, yeah. <laughs> then I got the Taco Ray-Ban, which was, I got another one of the, the same line in my previous Lex box. Um, it's the Black X, Excess. X, I don't know how to say this again. Um, it looks like it's a darker perfume, and it does explain it as a fruity, floral, woody scent. And this is Eau de Toilette. So, again, I'm guessing it's a spray vial, just by the thickness of the bag in here as well. And, um, yeah, I guess this would be a nice one. I'm not sure about the whole fruity and woody scent, but who knows? Uh, the next one is the Nina Ricci Nina Lixer, and this is the Eau de Parfume. So this is 4 mils. It's one of the sprays. Um, I've heard that the Nina Ricci, um, the, I don't know what the original is, but I've heard that Nina Ricci perfumes in general are really nice and really popular. So I'm kind of excited to try this one at least for sure. Uh, the next one is the Nina, Ich Nina Ricci Lair, Lair. And this is the one that is the kind of infamous one with the little bird glass on top of the bottle. And I have seen this before, and I have really, really wanted to try it because I know that it is one of the, or I was told that it is one of her, like, muskier scents. The other ones are kind of fruity because of the whole apple base, but um, I've heard the La Air, however you say it, is supposed to be more of, like, a muskier scent um, or, like, a baby powdery scent. So this one is probably going to be the one that I start the first, or start using first just because I'm more excited for it. And then, um, again, like my uh, previous box, box, they also sent the Lady Million by Paco Ray-Ban. So, again, another repeat. Not too impressed. I haven't even tried the other one yet because it wasn't really something that I was like, ooh, wow, this is amazing. Uh, so, again, it's a fresh, woody, floral fragrance. So it's the same as that Black Excess that they're explaining, which um, 
I don't know, I, Paco Rayban or however you say it, they may have really great perfumes, but the fact that you have two separate perfumes with two separate names and you explain them with the same base notes, that's kind of a little weird, don't you think? Like, why would you have two separate ones that smell very, very similar? It doesn't make sense to me. But maybe that's just because I'm not really a fragrance person. <laughs> I don't know. So anyways, that's my Lux box. Um, it wasn't a lot outside of the little tiny sample perfumes. It was um, three, three, four things, and then um, the bath and body one. So, I mean, it did make up for it, the fact that, you know, I got a whole shaver and stuff like that. But overall, um, I'm excited to get my Glim box and to see how that differs. And I will be doing a review next month of my Glim box versus the Lux box. And uh, hopefully I stick with Glim. I've heard that the Glim ones, there's really cute packaging because it's all in like pink boxes and stuff. So I have a feeling I'll probably end up liking that a little bit more based on the reviews that I've read of it versus the Lux box. But yeah, this is... Um, it's, it's all right. I like getting samples every month. Some people think that it's kind of a waste of money to do 10 or $12, whatever, a month, um, just for little samples of things, but I kind of like it. It's a way to treat yourself and uh, to try things that you don't necessarily get to try any other time, and uh, sometimes it's products that I've never even heard of before as well, too, so that's really interesting. But, um, yeah, anyways, love you guys. I also want to do a shout-out to uh, Koala Girl 77 She's one of my newer subscribers, and she actually lives in Santa Barbara, California. I'm sorry if that's not how you say it. I'm pretty sure that is. Um, but she used to live in my city, Edmonton, and uh, I just keep getting little sweet comments from her. And she actually did, in my other video, she did a video response um, just doing her favorites and things like that. I, it wasn't necessarily a monthly favorites. It was just her kind of general favorites. Um, and she showed quite a few little products that I've been wanting to try, like the lip butters and things like that. And um, I just want to do a shout out to her. She is so darn sweet. And just the fact that she says that I inspired her to do YouTube videos and to kind of just put herself out there a little bit more, that's so amazing to me because I, I don't like to think that I have the best confidence. Um, I'm a girl and we always have days where it's like, oh, my skin is bad or, oh, my makeup looks bad. Oh, I don't like my hair today. I'm in slob clothes. Um, so when I get really sweet comments saying that I've inspired people or they love something that I do, it just, it touches me really, really deeply because, um, I don't know, I've, I've always loved, of course, getting compliments and things like that, but I've never thought of myself as like a trailblazer or as someone that um, can inspire other people to do things because I myself feel, you know, I look up to people and I go, wow, I, I can't believe the, that you're the way that you are. I wish that I could be more like you. So the fact that some people are doing that with certain things that I do, it just it makes me feel really great. So I want to do a shout out to her. Um, the fact that she's in California and she's from my city, like I'm so jealous of her. Um, I'm sure she's in beautiful, beautiful uh, weather right now. But yeah, just want to do a shout out to her and say you're very welcome and I appreciate you subscribing and watching and I'm looking forward to all the videos that you're going to be doing in the future as well, too. So, anyways, the rest of my subscribers, I love you guys, of course. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a really great start to February. See you.